All right, here's your review. Uh, let's start with number one. Uh, Angela, Simon, Rashawn, and Ashlyn made strings of beads to sell at the school festival. The table shows the number of strings of beads that each student completed for five consecutive days. Uh, we've got students here, and day one, two, three, four, and five on the top. Uh, what student reported a number of strings completed that increased proportionally for five consecutive days? Uh, remember, it has to be constant. Uh, a constant ratio, okay, to be proportional, constant ratio, increasing by the same multiplicative or multiple amount, okay? So let's look at Angela. Uh, from 1 to 10 is times 10, uh, to 2 to 18 is times 9, okay? So that is not proportional, okay? They have to be um, uh, the same. So it cannot be Angela. I'm going to change colors here. Let's look at uh, Simon. Simon, from 1 to 12, is times 12. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Times 12. There you go. 2 to 24, times 12. 3 to 36, times 12. 4 to 48, times 12. And 5 to 60, times 12. So right now I'm looking at Simon thinking, yes, that is a constant ratio of uh, 1 to 12, okay, 1 day uh, to 12 um, uh, string beads, okay. All right, so let's look at Rashawn. Uh, the first one is times 13. The second one, 2 times 13. Uh, the third one is times 11. Okay, so it cannot be that. It has to be times 13 or times 11 for all of them. So, no, it cannot be Roshan. Uh, all right, let's look at Ashlyn. 1 to 7 is times 7. Uh, 2 to 15 is times 7.5. Okay, so that is not multiplying by the same thing, so it cannot be Ashlyn. So what that means is, uh, what student? It is Simon. Uh, and K, meaning the constant of proportionality, would be 12. And the um, equation, if you had to write it, would be Y equals 12X. Okay, uh, number two, a gardener wants to estimate the time it will take him to mow a lawn that is x acres okay so we're looking at x acres uh the times and measures of three lawns are in the chart what equation best represents um the time or t it will take him to mow a lawn that is x acres okay so obviously we have t equals something times x okay uh, so this, the size of the lawn, to that is times something, right? This one, it's times something, times something. So it has to be all the same thing. So if we did it backwards, right, if we went from there to there, if we went from there to there, it would be divided by something, okay? Uh, same thing with the others. Oops, sorry. Be divided by something, divided by something. So 3.4 times something equals 765. But if we do 7.65 divided by 3.4, I know there's a calculator on here somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, maybe there's not. Maybe I got rid of this. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to do 7, 7.65 divided by 3.4. I'm going to use a calculator just to save some time here. Um, 7.65 divided by 3.4 is 2.25. 2.25, or 2 and a quarter. All right, so now 
I'm going to try 5.8 times 2 and a quarter. 5.8 times 2.25. Uh, and that equals that, 13.05. So I'm going to do it again, 9.4 oops, times 2.25. And hopefully it equals 21.15. 9.4 times 2.25. 21.15. All right, so it is times two and a quarter. It is A. Okay. Uh, number three, uh, using the information in the graph, what is the rate of change? Rate of change is M, right, which is slope, which is rise over run. Rise over run. Okay. Uh, so we need to find some points that it actually meets up. Like that. Two and what? 30, I guess. There and there. So let's find another one. Uh, four. I want it to meet perfectly right there. Four and 60. Okay, so there's multiple ways to do this. This is a positive, right? Turn this into a triangle. There you go. How tall is it? One, two, three. Three tall. How long? One, two, three, four. Uh, four long. Um, Oh, sorry, but I can't use that. I can't use that, okay? So, because, let me show you my mistake here. Yes, it's four little units, but let's look. How far is it? From there to there. It's only two, right? Because from two to four. Okay, so that's two. And then how far is it? From there to there. Well, this is 30, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And so we went from 60 and 30. So how tall is that? That is 30 tall. Okay, and rise over run. Rise over run. The rise is 30. The run is 2. And what does that really just mean to do? Divide is 15. So the rate of change is 15. Okay, you could also have done a XY table. I'll do one for you real quick. XY. Uh, let's look at here. We have X of 2 and Y of 30. And then right here, we have x of 4 and y of 60. And remember, we can get y divided by x. So if y is 30, then x is 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Okay. Uh, right. Number four. Uh, Kevin is four years younger than Nadia. In the equation, y equals x plus four. X represents Kevin's age and y represents Nadia's age. Draw a graph that represents Kevin and Nadia's age in relation to each other. So this is y. Where can I write this? I'll try to write it over here. This is y equals m x plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Okay, so our b is positive. Four. So the y-intercept is positive 4. What that means is the line is going to cross the y 
at positive 4. I'm going to put a dot right there at positive 4. Okay, so then we look at the equation mx. Well, how many x's are there? There is, let me change colors. Let me go to that darker blue color. Okay, so now let's look at the mx, which we don't have mx, do we? We just have x. Well, how many x's are there? There's 1. So it is 1 x y equals 1 x plus 4 so the m is the 1 okay so 1 is the rise over run m is slope right m right here means rise over run okay so that 1 right there the rise is 1 well what's the run it's 1 over 1. you got to turn it into a fraction. So now we have a rise of 1, a run of 1. Okay, and it is positive. A positive slope is going that way. So we are going to rise 1 and run 1. Right there. Now let me get rid of that. There we go. Okay, rise 1, run 1. Rise 1, run 1. Rise 1, run 1. See the pattern there? Okay, and then we can connect that. All right, so that is that graph. Or that's that line uh, equation put on a graph. Uh, all right, let's look at number five. So we're going to write an equation that represents the data in the table, uh, meaning y. Oops, sorry. Um, let's see here. Okay, you know what? I've only got three minutes left on this timer, so let's go ahead and pause this and we'll get to five on the next one.